everyone welcome to the dotnet office in this video we will discuss how to write a unit test case for the if condition like in html if we are having any uh, div or any paragraph we are populating that on a basis on the some condition then how to write a unit test case for those so that we are going to see in this video so like here what i have done uh, here i have created a small ui and here like mostly if you will see here we are having some div uh, element so one is the div and here what we are checking we are checking like this div will visible when the number is greater than or equal to 20 and here i have given the id similar to that this is for the smaller than 20 and here you will see i have taken a one div and based on the condition we are checking either is a true case or false case and then based on that particular field we are populating the ng template and here if you will see this number is defined in the component and here you can see the number is 25 and it's basically a greater than 20 so we can see like this thing will populate and like here it is greater than 20 so the case is true case so it will go to this ng template and this will populate so if you will go on the browser similar we can see number is greater than 20 and number is greater than 20 ng template so we are going to write a unit test case for this so let's go to the uh, spec file and here we are going to write the unit test case so for writing the unit test case we have to write it and inside this one we have to give the test case name so here i am going to uh, write test case for number is greater than 20 and then so this is the format of uh, writing the unit test case and inside this one first what we will do we will take the element so let's create the variable and type of this element will be the html div element and here we are going to assign fixture dog dot debug element dot native element dot query selector and inside this one we have to give the id as we have seen these th these in the previous videos as well so the id i have defined as a div one so that i am going to assign inside this one now next what i am going to do i am going to take another element and that is for another div like i am going to take a new element for this div which is less than 20 so here i am going to assign as a element 1 and here i am making a div 2 because here if you will see the id is div 2 now let's go here and what i am going to check in this case what will happen now see the number is 25 and this is will print when number is 20 so at point of this time this div will print and this div will be null because it will not execute it because it's less than 20 so what we will check here we will check expect element and dot not to be null so this element will, uh, one will be not null and in the case of the element 2 let's write expect expect and here element 1 dot to be null so element 1 means this div will be null and first div will not be null not save it and let's see so currently the their 0 0 test case is passing now it should be 1 and it, it is showing as a fail so let's see why it is giving us error okay the thing is like here we didn't put the hash so first we will put the hash here okay now let's save it and see and now what we get the result and we can see our test case is passing as expected and if we will go on the browser same we can see here also like our test case is passing now let's go back here and now i'm going to write another test case and for these ng template so what i'm going to do i'm going to going to copy this one so it will reduce our time and here i'm going to write test case for num and here i'm going to write as a ng template now here we we have to change the id so the id is ng1 and ng2 
so let's replace ng1 and here i am going to replace ng2 and basically now this is not div element so what it is so html and heading element so html heading element now similar we will copy and paste it here now let's see because this will be the same because this element one will be the null because ng2 will not print and we can see the same result here it is saying two test case is passing if we will go on the browser we can see both the test case is passing now just opposite to this one for an example like what i will do i will take this ng template one and here instead of the greater i am what i am going to write less than and here what i will do i will write component dot number and here i am going to assign as a 15 now in that case what will happen this number so here we can see this number is less than 20 so in that case it should print the false case not the true case so now if you will go and just replace this one so what i am going to do it will be null and this will not be null now let's save it and we will see it should print the test case for us and now it's failing now let's see why it is failing okay so to be null and not to be so number okay so the thing is we didn't write the picture dot picture dot detect changes so let's print the detect changes now let's save it and see what it print for us so basically as we have seen in the previous video the detect changes basically use to detect the changes when we make any changes into the component and want to reflect same into the html side so we use the fixer dot detect changes and we can see now the three test case passing as expected and if we will go on the browser same we can see our test case is passing so this is the way we write our test case for the conditional rendering so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment Thank you.